Hi, I'm Krista Jacobson, headmistress of the Budidukai, where we teach authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. In today's video, we're going to talk about six Togaku Ryu ninja walking training techniques. Now, this information comes from a source written by Masaaki Hatsumi, and in this information, he gives six training techniques on how to increase your skill for stealth walking. Now, before I begin, I always give a shout out to all of my new viewers. So if this is the first video that you guys have seen of me, my name is Krista Jacobson. I'm the headmistress of the Budodukai, which means School of the Warrior Way. We teach Koryu Ninjutsu and Koryu Bujutsu, so the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. This organization does have other areas of focus, such as reality-based self-defense, weapons training and tactics, survival skills, martial arts theory, thought, and philosophy, martial arts conditioning. If any of these topics interest you at all, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell. I do post two to three videos every single week. So if you're interested in any of those topics, please subscribe, click the bell, and keep up with what we're doing. So today we're going to be talking about six ninja stealth walking training techniques. Now these particular techniques is called the Ropo Hoko Jutsu and it's found within the Togaku Ryu School of Nimpo Taijutsu. Again, this information comes from a source written by Masaaki Hatsumi and in this source it lists six particular points that you need to focus on to increase your skill in stealth walking. Number one, walk on ice, run around, and practice taihenjutsu wearing geta or clogs. This serves to give your body stability and balance and teaches you how to walk silently. So here's a pair of antique geta from my personal collection. And when you look at the science of what point number one is, it's saying you should walk around in geta and this can help your stealth walking. The reason it's going to help your stealth walking, because if you look at the way that the, the particular clog is designed, it's made of wood. And obviously if you have something made of wood on something a hard surface, it's going to make sound. But it's not about walking around in them, it's about controlling them with your feet. So when you slide your foot in on a clog and you flex your feet a certain way, you're going to keep it from smacking this way and you're going to keep it from making hard strikes on the floor. By doing that, when your foot goes in and you're controlling the getta, what you're actually doing is you're conditioning your feet. You're strengthening the small muscles, uh, tendons, ligaments, soft tissue of the feet in a way that gives you more control of your lower leg. It gives you more control of your foot. By strengthening your, the muscles of your feet and the connective tissue and those ligaments and tendons in your feet, that's going to increase your skill in stealth walking. Point number two, spend two hours every day walking with quick small steps. Walking with small steps puts less strain on your heart. This also trains you for walking as if on a cushion of air, not letting your center of gravity rest on either leg. Number three, Yoko Roki, walking with your body sideways. This type of leg movement is a feature in the Taijutsu in Koto Ryu Kopo Jutsu. Number four, Soko Shin Soko Soho, adapt to a changed situation by practicing methods one, two, and three above at a running pace. Number five, learn the four ways of walking above by watching the movements of famous dancers and soccer stars or the Yugen steps used in Shimai style no theater. My teacher taught me that Shinobi no Mono would always keep their feet warm. I remember how he used to wear tabi even in the summer. There's an old saying, you can tell someone's art from their feet. A Zen parable states that enlightenment lies under your feet. While there is also a proverb teaching how having a cool head but warm feet is important for maintaining one's health. Oriental medicine asserts that there are 50 points on the feet, each connected to the different parts of the body, and that these six energizing routes, the six meridians, of the spleen, stomach, bladder, kidney, liver, and gallbladder all pass through the feet. This all conveys the sense that it is important to keep one's feet warm and stimulate them correctly. Number six, there's an art called Hinzo Hokojutsu, disguised walking. One example would be walking with a stagger as if drunk. Another name for this is Yugi Hokojutsu, the entertainer's walk. Now I do want to ask all of you guys this. What do you guys think about these six points of the Ropo Hokojutsu? Do you guys use these six points to help you train in your stealth walking skills or do you guys have other exercises that you implement to increase your level of stealth walking? Make sure that you guys share your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, this information comes from a source written by Masaaki Hatsumi. Now, this is a book called The Way of the Ninja, Secret Techniques. Again, it's written by Masaaki Hatsumi. All information about this book is going to be in the video description below, as well as a link in case you guys would like to purchase this book for your personal collection. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do post two to three videos every single week. So if you guys are interested in the ninja and samurai, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. And if you guys are interested in training in authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai, Bujutsu, please check out our website at budodininjutsu.com. There you guys can see the seven traditions, the different principles and strategies and philosophies that we teach. If you don't live next to one of our schools, you can always join the 
Buddha Dukai Online Ninjutsu Dojo and start training with us that way. So thank you guys very much for your love and support. I deeply appreciate it. Until next time, take care, be safe, and good luck in your journey of Buddha.